Lady Gabriella and Tom Kingston are swearing their love and allegiance to one another today at St. George's Chapel in Windsor, the same location as Meghan Markle and Prince Harry married one year tomorrow. Almost a year on and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have welcomed a bouncing baby boy into the world and into their family. Baby Archie, only 12 days old today, appears to be absent from the festivities today. Prince Harry has arrived at the wedding, but where were the new mum and the beautiful baby boy? Archie Harrison was born 12 days ago and was officially presented to the world just two days later in a photo shoot in St. George's Hall in Windsor. The couple, who live at Frogmore Cottage on the Windsor estate, smiled broadly as Prince Harry cradled their son in his arms and Meghan stood by his side. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex asked the public and media to respect their privacy regarding the birth plans for their child prior to baby Archie's birth. Royal experts such as Danielle Elser believe Meghan Markle and Harry want to give their child as normal a life as possible. But in a surprising move, the Duke of Sussex attended the royal wedding. But new mom Meghan decided not to keep him company and instead stayed home with baby Archie. Unsurprisingly, the Duchess, having given birth less than a fortnight ago, decided to stay at Frogmore Cottage with her own mother Doria Ragland, who is believed to be helping her get to grips with motherhood. Prince Harry arrived with his uncle and aunt, the Earl of Wessex and the Princess Royal, who was joined by her husband Vice Admiral Timothy Lawrence. The Duke of York arrived by car with his ex-wife Sarah, the Duchess of York, and their daughter Princess Beatrice and her boyfriend Eduardo Pellimozzi. Miss Elser told News.com.au, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have decided against letting their son be titled the Earl of Dumbarton, rather he will be known by the more democratic master. Their reasoning is simple, they want the lad to have as normal a life as possible, and encumbered by a future of plaque unveilings, horse shows and endless Commonwealth cocktail parties. Also, perhaps more importantly, they want to keep him as far away from the glare of the intrusive, insatiable press as they can short of forcing him to grow up on an isolated Pacific at all with no Wi-Fi. Yesterday, the birth certificate was unveiled to the world, revealing that the baby was born in a hospital rather than at home, which Meghan had reportedly wanted originally. The birth certificate also confirms Meghan delivered her baby at the luxurious Portland Hospital, which has been chosen in the past by Sarah Ferguson and Victoria Beckham, among many other Ray Listers. The lavish hospital's basic delivery costs begin at £15,000. After the publication of the birth certificate, the London Hospital congratulated with the Sussexes. Given the infant is only 12 days old, it is unsurprising that he decided to stay home with his mother and grandmother instead of attending the wedding. But many royals including the Queen, Princess Beatrice, Lord Frederick Winder, his wife Sophie Winkleman and their daughters Isabella and Maud did come along to celebrate with Lady Gabriella. The first guests were dropped at around 10.50 a.m. today at the chapel by a bus. Guests seen making their way into the venue included English actor, novelist, film director and screenwriter, famous for creating Downton Abbey, Julian Fellows Pippa Middleton and husband James Matthews were also spotted among the guests for the wedding of royal bride Lady Gabriella Windsor and groom Thomas Kingston. Royal guests so far have included Prince Harry, Princess Beatrice, the Earl of Wessex and the Princess Royale, who was joined by her husband Vice Admiral Timothy Lawrence, the Duke of York arrived by car and his ex-wife Sarah, the Duchess of York, 